Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're in Stratford and we're getting in the holiday spirit being joined by one of Santa's helpers, <laughs> Rachel Massini from the UNH Cooperative Extension. And Rachel, a lot of people are emphasizing, you know, growing things, getting things, doing it naturally. And you're going to explain how to do some holiday decorations. Yes, right. right. This morning I was actually out walking my dog and I thought, let's do a wreath. So I did some clippings this morning, brought them here, and I want to just go over how to make a wreath from stuff that you can find in your backyard. Okay. Now it can start very simple, I gather, right here with exactly. a coat hanger. Exactly. Just huh? with a coat hanger. Or you can purchase, you know, for sale, there are wreath forms, either wire, you can also get um, styrofoam, or some that are made out of straw. Okay. What do I Maybe need in put order to put together a wreath here? There I see are we have a few some. tools that you will need, um, wire clippers, because we're going to be using wire. A 22 or 24 gauge wire will be the best because these are going to get heavy, you know, depending on what um, types of material you're going to use. Ribbon. Okay. Um, we also have cutters just to cut your, or, or pruners to cut your greens while you're out there. Mm -hmm. And then just a variety of greens, anything you can think of when you're out in the Now, are there some greens state. that are going to stay longer? Do I have to worry about picking some that are just going to drop needles? Or There what? are. Um, a lot of the, the, the needled greens that you're going to use if you're bringing these inside, usually the life expectancy is about seven to 10 days, but if you're putting these on a door outside, you can get up to four to six weeks. Okay, so you can even do it ahead of time maybe and just leave them in your garage before you bring them in for exactly. the holidays. Okay. Exactly, All right, so why don't you show us about putting something together here? All right, well, I've already started and what I did is I've just taken some of the greens that I've picked up and you want your, your green cuttings to be between four and six inches. All right. So you just get a variety of different materials. You put them together any way you want. Use your imagination. You can add in anything. You yeah. can add in just- Sounds like a great project to do with kids too. It is. And just have fabulous idea. So you'll just put as many greens together or you know plants that you want to mm -hmm. use. You just put them on your wire. And then you're going to take your-, your Florist wire. Your florist wire, yeah. exactly. And you're just going to wrap this around as tight as you can get it. And then you just keep doing that. You go around and around. And then at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to embellish it. So you can put okay. ribbon on. You can put ornaments. I brought some ornaments to embellish. All right. And just wherever you want. So are we cutting this then or no? You will at cut the this end? at the very end. Okay. Everything is going to be wired in together. And All then right. you'll just go around the wreath. And if you have holes, you can fill in after the fact. Okay. And then you just keep going. This takes a little bit of time, but you can do it while you're watching your favorite Christmas All right. holiday. And that way you'll get your own uh, Christmas decorations, maybe from your own yard. And we have the finished product, and that's hopefully what yours will look like for the holiday season. That's it for today's Growth Green.